we understand that now? Good. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is let's go back into okay, so I can see. Just my Z byte for that, right? Because it's because this is you know not. And then once I do that, I can bring my other one in here, and then I can. You can if you wanted to. You can do that. But I kind of get close to where I want to be, and then I use my mic. Just the weirdest. You were aligning this one and what else? I'm aligning that. Yeah. Well, basically, this is a beam splitter here. See this? A prism. Okay. So basically, depending on how much light. So if I if I take the light off the head now, I don't see I don't see the, the slide on the head. But when I bring the light up, then I can see it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So then. And this is the bottom one, so that's just looking at the, the glass that's on the on the head right now. And then if I bring this up, now that brings in this one here. So once I can see them both, then I can do my alignment to align. Okay. So one of them could be actually the path which you want to go on. Yes. Yes. So that's what you would do. Right. You. So. Whenever you adjust the zero, you always do it to where you're bonding to. Okay? And then once you have that set, you leave this alone. And then you pick up your, your die, whatever you're placing, you, you adjust your focus, and now you can see them both, and then you go ahead and adjust. So if someone wants to try picking up and aligning and uh, only one Okay, good. One bond at a time Yeah, what you would do, you would I mean you would bond one Die at a time, right? Yeah. So that's a point. Like one bond, like one pattern. Pattern. Well, I mean, no. I mean, if you had, if you had, say, uh, her part has, uh, you know, ten bumps on it. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna do all of those okay. bonds at, at the same time. Yeah. She did the whole die. Yeah, the whole, yeah, whatever, whatever is on that die, it's gonna do that whole die at once. Yes. How do we move the camera uh, with this? Oh, sorry. Oh, it's it's all all right. Right. Oh, you're trying to put place the part? Yeah, the camera. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. That's right here. So, but you want to have this where it's almost yes. touching, right? Because when you do your adjustments and stuff. Push all the way, right? Yeah, all the way. And then you release your backpack. And then you lift that arm up there, yeah. And then you lift this one up. So now the foot track is on. And now it's on there, yeah. And then you pull it all the way. Yeah, all the way. And now we can't see because we're looking down through the part. So we adjust it. Yeah, adjust your seat. Okay. I hope you didn't mind that up. No, no. I just said, wow, that's not good looking, good. Okay, I gotta go. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to take it up, up and then you adjust again, right? Yeah. Uh, so were you doing this? Yeah, you should have been doing that. Right. So now what's gonna happen? So, yeah, let's, so what's gonna happen now is you move so our tool might not pick it up yes. where we were. So yeah, just go ahead and see what happens. <laughs> so you can bring it down to the, and you gotta turn your vacuum on to the right. So now what we might see, yeah, I think you you see that it's probably shifted a little bit, but now turn your vacuum on and pick it up. It's off, right? No, it's not on. Off yeah, it's still not on. There you go. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we have to see. Yeah, we have to put that back. I think square gate. I think we need something. So now you can do your alignment. So this, so just so that you, so this is half micron scale. This is a one micron scale, and then the one that's out here is a two micron scale. So just to give some perspective to what we're looking at. So the next step is right. You're going to. Uh, this one, right? Oh, yeah. There you go. See? Yeah. Now it'll let you move that. That's right. Yeah. Well, there's a safety. Yeah. Our real old machines, they didn't have a safety. And yeah, there'd be little, like little dents in the lens. <laughs> so before you do anything, typically, if you're going to be bonding something, this is how it would be. Just like this. You hit the play button, then your heat and all of your stuff would go. But we're this is uh, our calibration, so we have to see what you know how it plays. Because basically, when we do our calibration for the for the beam splitter, when we line it up, I like to say that that's perception. And then once I place it down and we look at the results, that's reality. So we so if our perception and reality aren't the same, then we make adjustments to our beam splitter to put them. So that they're they're calibrated together. So yeah, we can release the. All right. So lift that one up first, and and when you lift this up, when you're doing this calibration, you make sure you don't see any movements and anything. And then you lift this arm. And then you bring that back over. All the way. Who's this one? No, this would be the one guy for the substrate. All right. So you see that this placement is, is good. So here it needs. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. That one. But basically, if I look at this here, so we have a, a little bit of a theta rotation. So when I look, so basically, when we do this calibration, as long as one corner is lining up perfectly, and you have the other corner that isn't. That's okay because then it's a fail. As long as we have one corner of this calibration um, done, then, then we're good. So, so that's how you would yeah. pick up and place if anybody else wants to give it a try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All, all parts are done in one building. But, uh, so, this is uh, bonding done with the not with a wire, it's done with uh, some kind of wire. Yes, that's right. This is, you know, normally your die would get wire bonded first or whatever, and, and then, uh, you know, sometimes you put bumps on a die, you know, and so then you take that die with the bumps and then you'd be placing it to your substrate. Yeah, so this is this is not uh, yeah. attaching any wires. So this or, yeah. Those bumps, those yes, bumps. that's right, that's right, those yes, bumps. that's you right. It could be could be stud bumps, could be regular, you know, like uh, VGA style. Of course, the substrate does not have any bumps. That's the right. She might just have, uh, I don't know what the material is on there. Is it? Copper. It's what? Copper. Copper? Okay. All right. So basically, you're just soldering that together? Yes. Okay. So then, in that application, then, um, the materials that you're, you're bonding together, um, the company would have a data sheet, and they would recommend the temperatures. I don't know what the melt, whatever the you know the, the melting temperature of what you're bonding together 